This meat is phenomenal. Mm. Where did you get meat like this? This meat right here comes from my own special farm. I'll take you there tomorrow. You'll see it with your own eyes. A special farm, huh? It's fitting. There are also a few surprises over there. You'll enjoy yourself. The results are wonderful. Elif has grown in size much faster than we had expected her to do. Everything is normal. Super. <laughs> Congratulations. You've been taking really good care of her. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what's her weight now? She weighs exactly two kilograms, 800 grams. Oh, she's gained one kilo. I hope that she won't get too fat. <laughs> nah, it doesn't matter if my little bunny becomes fat. She was born much too small. Don't tell her that. Look, feeding a baby too much is as bad as feeding a baby too little. You know, I read an article. It said obesity is established at this age. We have to be very careful with her eating habits. That's fine. That's fine, but not yet. I think that we can wait until she weighs five kilos to worry about that. All right, calm yourself. That'll be fine. I get overexcited about things sometimes. Uh, Cooper's always so relaxed. <laughs> Pass me the keys, would you? You can go now. You've helped so much, and I don't want you to waste time uh, getting don't worry back about to your business. Here. Elif, bye bye. See you later, Elif. Ah, <laughs> uh, she has acne like me. It's ruined. I cooked it just for you. Well, I'll eat it off the ground. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> My little darling. Uh, hey, what's all of this? Th there are cookies everywhere. I wonder what happened, huh? Uh, uh, I'll clean them up. Uh, it's okay. Thanks, Salim. All right. Call, call me if you need me, you know? Your daddy is gone, sweetie.
All right, I'm at. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready, brother. It's all set. That's good. That's good. But brother, I am really angry at you. You were going through so much stuff. I mean, why didn't you call me sooner, man? Look, bro, you're right. I was running around in a panic, and I didn't even think about it. I'm sorry. Although, <clears throat> your father's really helped us. I can't think of a way to repay him. You don't even know, man. <laughs> I can't even believe this. Look, if my father can't benefit from helping, then he doesn't lift a finger to help anyone. Look, listen to me. I don't know what happened between you, and it's none of my business. But I think you're being unfair to him, huh? I mean, he even went up against his best client just for me. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Get the hell out of here. So who is this important client, huh? <laughs> Does this client have a name? Kamal Userler. Kamal Userler? Mm -hmm. But the guy was just over at our house last night. I spoke with him and everything. My dad uh, had invited him to our house for dinner. Wait, to your house? <sighs> my house, Amir. Look, man. Uncle Kamal is a friend of my father's from high school. And they've been best friends for almost their whole lives, okay? They meet up every one to two months so they can catch up and go out and get drunk. You know, things like that. So then, how do you know him? I mean, you know him, right? Yeah. Well, he was working with my father before he opened up his own business. Like I said, he and my father have always been close for as long as I can remember. Why do you ask? <sighs> so that means that... I'm following some guy who said that I did this murder, but he's actually friends with your dad. No, your dad's his attorney. Amir, I already told you how my father rose to fame, right? 